good, very calm and quiet morning here on Lake Michigan. We said it yesterday. I'm gonna start eating better, start exercising. And I have gone on a quick run this morning. Look at this. Look at these geese. If it was a little warmer after yesterday's live stream. I might just have to dive in one of these days during my run, but not today. So today we're just going through my mom's house, through my room, but we're gonna take a lunch break soon. Well needed, and I'm pumped. It's um, a new Middle Eastern restaurant. It's actually, there's a bunch downtown, but new to our area. He still won't nap, but the cousins came with on a walk to let the girls continue getting through some of the stuff in the house. It's like six. We just got dinner. What's the last thing we've been did lunch? Oh uh, no, park for a quick second. Oh, you did. Yeah. Okay. Um. Got some Ooh. tongue. This baby has not napped at all today. A little bit on your walk. Ten minutes. Yeah, not even. Struggling with his teeth. Yeah. We had to take a bath with a freeze pop. <laughs> get him to chill. We have some sort. of, I think it's just red curry. Some beef and broccoli. Um, pineapple fried rice, chicken pad thai, and crab rangoon. Lots of crab rangoon. Probably just white rice in here. He finally came in. Peter's gonna take over in a little bit. We'll probably just hold him just to not even risk a transfer to a bed for him to wake up. Um, and then we're gonna finish up some rooms upstairs and call it a day because we are very, very productive. This is so surreal. It's just like, it's hard because, you know, we went to Disney and it was very fun and we had a really good time together. Um, but the reality is we are, we are going through it and this is so, it's the twilight zone. That's what I keep calling it. So, um, yeah, we will continue tomorrow, um, probably Friday too. James and boys snoozing away. His eyes might be open, but he's asleep. I'm back outside. Just hanging out in the Scranton porch. This is like a very special place to me at Sarah's parents' house. So they're in there finishing up going through stuff before we head back to the apartment for the night. Um, but I've spent a lot of time in that garage with Sarah's dad. I spent a lot of time in the Scranton porch getting it ready for the summers and winterizing it with Sarah's mom, so. Um, just kind of taking this moment to be in a quiet space with James so he can sleep, because he hasn't slept all day, and soaking up as much time as I can here because this place isn't gonna be accessible forever for us. Um, and it's, uh, I love this place. I don't know if I'll pick it up on the camera, but there's a firefly. Oh, might be too light. There's a couple. Lightning bugs, fireflies, whatever you call them. Oh, there you go. I've missed seeing these while we lived in Florida because I just, I don't think they're not in Florida. I never saw them. But up here in the Midwest. Nice. <laughs> the grit. It's the next day. We're making this a double vlog. Jamesy, you're staring off. I love a good stare off. We are on a walk trying to get this little boy to nap. So fortunately, James did sleep great through the night, but he, again, has just been fighting his naps. We're a little bit worried that his runny nose is not just from him teething. Um, he's had this cough. Honestly, we all got sick about a month ago, um, and we were so close to not having James get sick, but he got, he was the last one to get it. And the cough from that has just never gone away and it's kind of escalated. So we might be taking him to the doctor. Um, but yeah, I'm just out and about taking a little break from 
um, getting our stuff done at my mom's and trying to get him to take a snooze. I realized what I had initially picked up the camera for, I didn't even talk about. Um, today is a very big day for us um, because me and James had our last nursing session ever today. Um, I was kind of waiting for one to feel right. He's exactly eight months old today. Um, and I really wasn't like trying to hit that milestone. My biggest concern was I needed to be done before we started our testing for our, um, our plans moving forward with our fertility clinic. But today it just, it just felt right. I feel so fortunate for that time. I feel so fortunate that from the very beginning, um, we introduced formula and James loved both and handled both so well. Um, we always, we joke around. We had a difficult time getting pregnant. I had a wonderful pregnancy. I had a very difficult labor and delivery. And um, we truly, truly had a wonderful experience since James was born. So just quite the monumental day for us. And I wanted to remind anybody that our inbox is always open. You know, a lot of times, I don't know, like a lot of people have a lot of opinions when it comes to raising children. Um, and so any of you faced with any sort of, I don't know, doubt or needing a friend, our inbox is always open. Whether that's feeding, whether it's sleep, whether it's just, you need to chat where our inbox is always open really for any topic but um yeah you know parenthood is new to us and we really needed you guys when we were on our um journey to parenthood so just a reminder we're here for you too and he's out peter's gonna come out and finish his um work day with him asleep or awake just so you know 100% asleep. This is probably the most beautiful day of the entire year. Um, but he fell asleep and we don't want to take him out of the stroller. So I came and finished my work day out here while Sarah and her older sister Jenna go through some more stuff. Look at this Disney Golf's um, windbreaker. Um, that's fancy. And I love it. Um, I got 20 minutes left in my work day, I think. Oh. What do you mean they didn't have Baja Blast at Taco Bell? Thanks, man. The baby's still asleep. How about that? Crazy. I'm still. I'm waiting on one last email, and I'm done with work. I've been waiting for a phone call all day. That's a bummer. About my master's program. Oh. Here's Sarah and James going through some of Sarah's old childhood bins, and this was in Christina's because she's the most Epcot child ever. What year is it? This is from like 15, 20 years ago. 2001, they're still selling these awesome trolls today. <laughs> Christina just found the best thing ever. <laughs> My coon skin cap. <laughs> <laughs> From Walt Disney World, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. He's like, what on earth? This is the best. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You can do it. All right, the night kind of winded down. We're kind of trying to organize because the ants are going to come over to the house tomorrow but I ordered this jumbo pizza from Slice Factor, 28 inches. Here are the jumbo slices. And I got, I think we have a whole one of these. A pizza so big, it has to go in the trunk. I ended up having to wait a minute for it because they went down to one oven. Um, but I watched them take it out and I watched them cut it and it's gonna be the freshest pizza ever. I dropped the Pepsi. It's gonna be a little bit of a grant. Look at this pizza. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. That's absurd. That is ridiculous. Bye, look, look at this pizza. Okay, we're gonna try again. Yeah. Grab up here. Grab up here. He's done it. He's pulled himself up. I'm trying so hard to get it on camera. Ready? Set? 
Go. Try. You could do it. Oh, oh. We made it home. But uh, we took two cars. We took our Shane and Grant's and ours. The bummer to that is having to find two parking spots in our neighborhood tonight. That just took me a major calculator risk. I'm terrified. Even Grant was like, good luck trying to find a spot in my neighborhood for his big Dodge car um, because it's a little bit bigger than our Fusion, a lot of it bigger. And I just took a spot in the Fusion because I figured it would take less time to find a spot for that because it's smaller. Um, and I went like not far and I found a spot that was definitely big enough for the, their car, but I was in my Fusion. So now I'm going back. I parked it there. I'm gonna go back and grab their Dodge and hopefully find a spot. It's interesting that they literally live half mile away from us, but they live just past two busier streets. And on the other side of those two busier streets, it's like super easy to find parking all the time, but where we are, um, can't find parking ever, ever, but I just had a lot of luck just now with my car. So hopefully I'll go grab theirs and we'll see. No way. Literally just down the street from where my car is parked, there was a spot big enough. 383 parking permit. Woo! Here's one of the awesome Disney acquisitions that we got today. They don't, I don't even know the last time they made stuff like this from the theme park, hand painted. two because this is a two-day vlog we're gonna do the 30th the 31st i'm sorry no the 30th of june Ooh, a long one d antoinette foy before you step out into the world today remember that you will encounter people whose struggles you do not know remember the way a pair of eyes light up when greeted with kindness dig that Oh, you get three because it's July 1st. One life on this earth is all that we get, whether it is enough or not enough. And the obvious conclusion would seem to be that at the very least, we are fools if we do not live it as fully and bravely and beautifully as we can. Frederick Buchner. I like that. Today is July 1st. James is eight months old, which is insane. Today's quote is by Karen Lamb. A year from now, you will wish you had started today. Huh. So I'm not sure if we've actually spelled it out. I think we have. Have we said on the vlog of what we were doing the past couple days? Uh, I think so. So we're going through the house to like get everything ready. And like, you know, when you grow up and you move out, oftentimes you leave some stuff at your parents or your loved one's house because it's just like how things happen. But look what we brought back today. I thought we actually had this. I forgot we left this at your house. Right here, bridal keepers. This is four pieces of Sarah's wedding dress, the giant Kremlin. Is that the right word, Kremlin? Right, but that's that big thing. Yes, yeah, so the, the giant Kremlin Sarah had is not in this. This is just the rest of the dress that we've had cleaned and preserved in this box. So it's like sealed and it's been taken care of and whatnot. We never saw it. Do you think the mud is off the bottom? Sarah got the bottom of her dress so muddy from walking through the streets. It's like, muddy. It was mud. It was mud from on Lower Wacker when we were filming our, our wedding video. I think so. Yeah, I almost want to open it up, but I don't. I know, I know. We should go to bed, though. These so days are physically and mentally exhausting. Emotional. That's what I meant by mentally. Um, and what Peter means by when he says get things ready is the house, because nobody is going to continue living in the house. And so it's going to be a big task, but yeah. we're, we're selling it. Yeah. So, yeah. like, we're just going through things and having lovely memories mm -hmm. and organizing all that. Like... I saw all of my like report cards and I posted some of my drawings on Instagram. We had saw um, like Christina's, like the ultrasound from Christina. Yeah, was, like her baby ultrasound. Yeah. Like 
herself. Just a lot. Yeah. Just we saw a lot of family yeah. history. Um. So a lot of these days are packed with things that we won't necessarily be putting on the vlog. Right. Um. And somebody had requested a run Disney video, like sit down. So we're thinking that if we film a couple of clips during the day, when we get home, we might be able to fill in um a decent amount with like chit chatting. With yeah. Us. Rather than doing like two or three days in one vlog. That yeah. could work. Yeah. Um, and so I'm sure we'll be talking more about our frozen embryo transfer. We just got um, like the new vitamins I'm going to be on, the testing I have to get done. I'm sure we'll talk about that. So put in the comments below if you have any other ideas of what you'd like us to chat about. I think people want to see us go to New York. I want to see us go to New York. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>